Hello there guys, welcome to my channel dream to animate First of all, I am back with another video. This is your support that made me back on YouTube. I have not posted any video for more than 10 months I guess. But some of your comments really motivate me to make new videos for you. So I request you to please do comment and subscribe my channel. I am very close to 1000 subscriber. I know with your support I will cross that hurdle soon. So thank you so much for your support. Keep supporting me and I will create more videos to help you guys to learn basic animation. Now move on to the video. Today I will show you how you can set up your Animate CC software so that you can start making animation here. Let's not talk too much. Just jump into the video. Let's get started. to animate so when you open the animate cc software you will see this type of interface here in the middle you can see this box in the left side you will see open recent item here you can see some recent file you work on if you save those files but if you are new to the software then you probably see nothing here on the very left side, there are some information which are not so important. The main thing you need to know if you are new to this software, then it is the middle part. Here you can see create new menu. And there are some sub menus at the bottom of it. First is HTML5 canvas. It is important if you are making animation or graphics for web. You will get the output as an HTML file. This option is not very useful for me because I don't make any animation for web. Second one is WebGL. Again, it is for web. So those are not my things. Next you will see Action Script 3.0 and that is where we make animation. So it is the option you have to choose if you want to make animation video. The next three options are Air for desktop, Air for Android and Air for iOS. These options are used to make flash application for desktop, Android and iOS. So I will click on the Action Script 3.0 option. After clicking on it, you will see a white page at the middle. I have already told you on my previous videos, this called the stage where we can draw or animate anything we want and the grey surrounding is called backstage where you can draw or animate anything but it will not show up on your animation. On my further videos, I will show you how to use stage and backstage on your animation. I gave you information about timeline and tool on my previous video. In this video, I will tell only about the setup you have to make for your animation. So, first you will go to the very top where you can see this bar, file, edit, view, insert, modify, text, comments, control, debug, windows and help. Click on the windows and it will pop up this box. Go to workspace. Here you can see couple of options. It will change your interface of the software. For example, I have selected essential. I like to work on this workspace setting. If you select animator for example, see, it will change everything. So choose whatever settings you want or I said you feel comfortable to work. I work on essential, so I select essential. And if you mess with anything like this, then don't panic. Just go to windows workspace and at the bottom you can see reset essential just click on this and click yes and everything will be back on its place next thing is to change the stage size according to your requirement it will decide your animation video resolution come to the right side of the software 
on the properties panel you can see size. Here W means wide and H means height. If you new to the software then you will see wide is 550 and height is 480. That's mean your animation video resolution will be 550 by 480. But nowadays every cartoons are made on either HD or full HD. HD means 1280 by 720 and full HD means 1920 by 1080. So I work on full HD resolution. To change this select on the 550 number and here in the box you can enter 1920. Similarly select on the 480 and enter 1080. It will only change the current document but if you want to change it permanently like every time you open Animate CC and want the same resolution then click on here advanced settings and it will pop up a document setting box. First you can see units and it is in pixel unit. You can change it if you want by clicking here but it is fine on pixel unit. So I will not change it. Now here stage size. It's already at 1920 by 1080 as I have changed it on properties panel. So no need to change it but if you want a different resolution then you can change it from here. Now on the right side there is a box says match contents. What it do is if you have drawn any content on the stage it will change the stage size according to your content. Like now I have not drawn anything so there is no content on the stage. If I clicked it now then the resolution will change to 1 by 1. So this is not very important. On the bottom of the stage size there is scale content. If you change the stage size and then click on this checkbox then the size of the content on the stage will be also changed. Now anchor. To make you understand this I have to explain a lot of things. So for now I will leave it here. Just select on the middle. If you can do that or skip that for now. At the bottom there is stage color. This is the color of stage. By default it is white. You can change it if you want but on the animation it won't affect anything. Now here you can see frame rate. This is the same here on the properties panel FPS. FPS means frames per second. How many frames there will be in one second? By default it is 24 FPS. That's mean if you draw 24 frames then your animation will count one second. You can change it according to the requirement. I choose 25 most of the time. But if required, I change it to 30 fps or 60 fps. So for now, I will change it to 25 fps. Now all settings are done. At the bottom, you can see make default. If you click on this, then the changes you have made will stay forever. Like every time you open the software, you will see these settings by default until you change it again. I will click on this because I want these settings permanently. As you click OK, you can see it also changed on properties. So all the steps are done. Now you can start drawing or animating. But wait, you should save it first. To save, you can just use shortcut Ctrl and S for Mac user command and s or you can go to file and select save just give it a name i will give demo for it and also select the location where you want to save the file i'm choosing desktop here and click save done at last i want to give a quick tip 
get habituated to save the file frequently. In my experience, a lot of time the software crashed and I lose all my data. It is very frustrating, I know, but it is what it is. Work with a very positive mindset and everything will be fine. So, this is it for now. If you like this video, please thumbs up. If you have any question regarding to this, then do comment. Remember your support and comments motivate me to make new videos for you. Thank you so much. This is Krishna and I am signing out. See you later.